Hello my guys and welcome to another episode. In this episode we have a new product. This is gonna be for any 2019 to 2021 Toyota RAV4. Um, it's gonna be for Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. So with this one, you can connect it to your stack um, infotainment system with Apple CarPlay and you're gonna be able to watch Netflix, uh, YouTube, whatever you wanna watch with it, it's right here. Plug and play system, really easy to use. I'll show you in a minute what we have. A little box right here. And the only thing that you need to do with this one, just plug it in into your RAV4 or any vehicle that you have. I'm going to show you the list in a minute on what kind of vehicles you can use this box. Company name is One Car Stereo. A CarPlay Android Auto AI box. It's going to work with Android 9.0. And right here is going to be the list. You have Porsche, Cadillac, Audi, Mercedes-Benz, Ford, Volkswagen, Nissan, Skoda, Volvo, Toyota, Honda, Mazda. And here you have the list of all the vehicles that you can use this box. You need to check this list if you want to purchase this box because this is compatible with the stock infotainment system with Apple CarPlay. If you put aftermarket stereo uh, with Apple CarPlay, probably it's not going to work. So make sure that you check the list before you make the purchase. You can use this box with iPhone or Android. In the middle, it goes the cable. On the left and on your right, you can put your memory card. USB connection. Once you turn your vehicle on, give it like 30 seconds and it's going to start working. Once it starts working, that's going to be your main screen. And this is home right here. You press home, uh, it's going to stay, it's going to go back to that screen. You have YouTube right here and the auto kit. When you press on Auto Kit, it's going to start working and pairing with your phone. Just give it a minute and it's going to start working with your phone. If we go here to Bluetooth, you're going to have right here the Auto Kit box. It's connected already. So it's gonna start working. So this is gonna be one way to connect it with Bluetooth. Another way, you can use the Wi-Fi in your house. When you're on the screen, just press anywhere. You're gonna have that little white dot. Press on it, go back, go home. You go to settings. Settings, you have the network. You can connect it to your Wi-Fi. But obviously, if you're at home, you're not going to use it on your uh, on your vehicle, right? But that's just in case that you want to connect it. That's my connection right here. Press again on this one. You can go back or home. Right here, you have YouTube Music. You have YouTube. It's going to get connected. And it's working already. But the most important thing is that you need to pair your phone with the system so you can have your system while you're not at home and that's the way you have Bluetooth right there you pair in a new device pressing there or previous devices that you connect to it right there my phone as bullet that's my cell phone that's how you connect it uh, with Bluetooth go back in there and then you have all the system uh, you have your settings on auto kit debugs display sound storage like i said you can put memory cards on it and you have all these functions right here if you want to go back again this dot you can move it whatever you way you like press on it go home and if you want to go back to your stock setting 
pressing there and you go back to the main screen or press Apple CarPlay when you're on this screen you can press the settings and then you're gonna have a lot of options in here CarPlay icon you go there and then you can choose your vehicle Toyota to set it up driver position if you drive on your left or your right microphone gain one two three four five and I don't think we need to change anything else in here now if you go back to the settings right here let's try to set it up with the Bluetooth and let's start watching YouTube we're gonna keep connected to bullet is connected now go back let's watch on YouTube let's check bullet Solano okay so if we watch a video let's go to the uh, long video Hello my guys and welcome to another episode. You're going to be able to use the controls on your steering wheel as well. Nothing is going to change. Everything is going to be working the same. This episode we're going to do a little test on the lead. Okay, so it's working fine and with no problems. Now if you put YouTube for your kids while you're driving and you need to use, uh, let's say, navigation, just press this purple icon and it's going to divide the screen. Let's say press home to see if we can use a Google Maps. You go to maps and that's how you divide the screen. We have your cinetic against last week so there you have it it works fine um the only thing that you need to do on the settings is connect your phone anybody can use that by bluetooth or you just use the internet from your phone so there you have it it's really easy to use um and while you're there if you want to subscribe to that channel you can go ahead and subscribe and like these videos okay guys i'll leave it with that easy installation super easy to use um link is gonna be in the description for this ai box and uh, if you have any questions please comment down below i'm gonna be happy to help thanks for watching guys don't forget to subscribe and see you in the next one peace <laughs>